Catholic and Graders. I am going to walk you through today's math block. There's a few things that I want to tell you about and show you, and then I will send you on your way. Tomorrow, we are going to be taking our picture graph and bar graph assessment. Now, we took our benchmark long ago, and we've taken a check-in, and we spent last week talking about picture and bar graphs. We're going to review today, and then tomorrow, you will take that assessment. I'm hoping that you are feeling good about it. If you're not, let me know. There's a lot more practice today, so I'm hoping that after today you'll be like, I got this. So here we are. So up here, it just says what I already said to you that we're reviewing. Now, we collected data last week, two questions. So the first question was, what's your favorite school lunch? Now, we have finished doing the picture and bar graph for that. So today we're going to look at our Thanksgiving food data, and we're going to do both our picture graph and our bar graph today. So last week we did one graph on one day and one graph on the other day. Today you're gonna do both. So here you will find, right here is where my directions are gonna be. That's what you're listening to. I need to put an N there so it says then complete the activity. You will click on Thanksgiving food data and that will bring you to the picture. So I looked at all the data that we collected from everyone who answered what your favorite Thanksgiving food is, and I made a poster, and here it is. So what is your favorite Thanksgiving food? Turkey, mashed potatoes, rolls, stuffing, and pie. So here, the results are in. I can already tell based on the tally marks what's the most popular choice, which surprised me, because it's not my favorite. Turkey got the most votes, but stuffing's my favorite. So you're gonna use this chart to make a picture in a bar graph. So you can open that up. You can watch this video. You will, I hope, let me open the, I have included a template for the picture graph and the bar graph. So I hope that you print these out before math so that they're ready to go. So the picture graph looks like, this is the bar graph. Let me get the picture graph. Here's the picture graph. So you're going to use the same data, right? The picture that I just showed you, this. So I see 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 tally marks for turkey. So you're gonna count all the tally marks and then you're gonna put it in. So let me make these smaller so that we can share the screen. Okay, so here's my picture graph. I've done a picture of each of the foods, but down here where it says key, it's just a small square. So one square is going to equal one vote. So for example, if I see that turkey got 30 tally marks, then I'm going to show that on my picture graph by drawing 30 small squares. Now, I've said this a few times, but picture graphs are only useful or bar graphs are only useful if you really take your time and make them neat. Because a messy picture graph or a messy bar graph is hard to read, and then it's not doing its job. The job of a graph is to be easier to read, not harder. All right, so I would encourage you just to use small squares. You're going to need 30 for turkey. I'll let you figure out how many you need for the rest. But one vote equals one square. Then for your bar graph, I'm going to make this small too. You're gonna take this same information. Now notice I forgot to mention, both of these have a spot for a title. Title here, and then title right here. We've talked about how the titles need to make sense. So if the question was, what is your favorite Thanksgiving food? Then the title needs to make sense for what the question was. So I'll let you decide what the title is gonna be, but it should have to do something with the question. All right, so here's my bar graph. I have already labeled at the bottom turkey, potatoes, rolls, stuffing, and pie, and I have gone all the way up to 30. I chose 30 as the highest number because that's the votes, the most votes of our question. Turkey got the most vote. It got 30 votes, so I don't need to go any higher for the numbers on my bar graph, but I do need at least 30. It wouldn't work if I had just stopped at 18 because turkey got 30 votes. So then remember with your bar graph, you're going to color all the way up to whatever it lands on and you're gonna fill the whole thing. So if turkey got a vote, let me make this big again. I'm just gonna show you one, but if turkey gets 
a vote. I'm going to do that whole box filled in, not just a little tiny mark. I want this whole row or column to be filled so that it looks like a bar. That's why it's called a bar graph. All right. After you have completed, after you've used the data collected, which is my poster that I made to make a bar graph and a picture graph, you are going to go to this exit ticket graph questions. Okay. So you are going to open it up. You're going to type your name and then you're going to use your graphs to answer these questions because our skill is not only to be able to make picture and bar graphs, but it's also to be able to answer and ask questions about the graph. So you're going to put your name. I have asked you three questions. The first question is how many people voted all together? So that sounds like I need to add each choice up. How many people chose pie or stuffing? That word or also tells me that I'm going to need to add those two things, pie or stuffing, pie and stuffing, same thing. And then what was the most popular food? And you will answer that. Then your last thing that you need to do is you need to come up with your own question that you could ask about the graph. Okay, so whatever question you come up with, it has to be able to be answered by looking at your graph. All right, and then you will submit it. Let me go back. Then when you're done with all of that, that might seem like a lot. I want you to go back onto Prodigy. I have created another assignment. It's different than Fridays. And there might be some of the same questions still, but I've taken some of the horizontal graphs out. If you don't know what that means, it's fine. But I've just deleted some of the kinds of questions that you had and added some others. So if you go to Prodigy and do that, that will be another way that you can practice more and get ready for tomorrow's assessment. That's a must do. And then if you're like, oh, I really just want to practice more, I have included two boom decks, a picture graph boom deck and a bar graph boom deck. So that is your goal for today. It's a lot, I know. Do your best, okay? Let me know if you have questions. Let me know how you're feeling. I might add a question on our poll of how you're feeling about graphs. So, all right. Oh, I can't log off.